it's five o'clock and Buddhist um, Bwachtin Logat Lekshubni. Welcome to 10th lesson. Tapelevaha Kalepmaset Talki. Tal Tam Otne. Plus Vichta Grada. Plus Vichta Grada. Mankalmas Tisla. Ipmeletti. Plus. To scout in a block. Ostos. Wow. Quota genus la plus vita grada. In in Cautocano, it's plus five degrees Celsius. It's a little bit colder. It's been raining today. La Arvan. Oh, no. It has it has been raining. La Kobakas Mieta Mailni Mudoi. Oslos Mille Kullan Makale Era Rika and La Comis. All of Mot Americas, Makale Americas, Otne Dalki. How is the weather in America today? Anybody? Laco Calmas. Is it cold by Laco Bachas? Is it hot? Taco mas le plus nearly the block grada. Okay. Lead us le plus octon of block grada. Okay. Kisto. Um, Oyaka mean Idaho. Idaho as le. Plus Kuhtan of Plotgrad. Ipswich plus Oats in the Plotgrad. Baltimore as the plus Gol of Malotgrad. Herr, I sieven it. Michigan as the plus Kotlegikalsigrad. Reykjavik as the plus Oktan of Plotgrad. Okay. Herr, Herr, I sieven it. Lava Dajat, uh, oh my God, approximately. Herra means Lord, and Sunit uh, is Herra uh, Sunit. Bless you. Bless, yeah. Oh Lord, bless. Blessed be. Blessed be. Me, blessed, yeah. Ude just le plus logigrada, ya le arvan. Le arvan dieppe nu kodape quota genus. It has been raining there as it has been here also in Kautokeino. Um, I think I Wester Jötlandas. Oh, yeah, Le Kolmano plus Grada. Göteborgas Le plus Kohtano plus Grada. Oh, it's a yoga sporkai. Merka Shakodata de Muata vel Pohtan. Oh, it's a yoga sporkai in Utsjoki in northern Finland. It has been snowing <laughs> today. Porakat, porakat to to snow when it's also windy to storm snow. To there is another word muhtit to snow, but muhtit is only used when it's uh, coming down uh, straight 
town and there is no wind, snowstorm. Yeah, you can say Porokan. It's been snowstorm, but it doesn't need to be so much storm. So maybe maybe storm is too Poraka tale. It's I guess or what does do can we get a comment from from some of you about Borakat? Maybe maybe my trist and shit for a payverist and that could yes. Emilia Tidalandas. Eh, Lakodos kommentarar den den eh, eh, borrakat. Man just måta. Det är lite illa vägen på det. Jo, det är lite så. Det är nu allu. Ah ja, just måta. Mm. When it's Moht it, then it's not snowing so much and it's no wind. But borakat, then it's more. Mm. Borakat, snow more, to snow more, or something like that. Yeah. Had to allow push the boraka. My locket. Now go ahead to allow push the lepicha muhta go the boraka. Yeah, bad do the lep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, a little bit more serious uh, <laughs> snow, snow coming down. Okay, flurries when it's only a little bit. Maybe flurries is for it flurries. Can you say like that about muhta? Otne muhta. Today, today it snows. Today, Today it flurries. I have never heard the word flurries is more used as a noun. Aha, it is flurries. Yeah, something, maybe, I'm not sure. We just say flurries, short spell of a light snow. I've never heard flurry used as a verb. Okay. You don't use it as a uh, noun. Okay. But Otna. Otne arva, dappe ja boraka ohtse yogas. In English, you can pretty much turn anything to a verb, cannot you? It's a question here. Ah, I guess in Sami, we also have such possibilities many times to make a, a verb. Of things, yeah, informally, informally you can. I hear here. So now I try to share screen. Where are we now? I got it from the start. I think it's tenth lesson, isn't it? Yes, me. We had imperatives last time. Like, like, where be be var so good in uh, in Swedish? Like, uh, where here you are in English, we say. Uh, and uh, and today we're gonna we are going to look at a, a poet, a Sami poet who uh, died uh, maybe twenty years ago. I should check that up on the break if or maybe some of you already know Paulus Utsi. He uh, is from the Swedish side of Sapmi and uh, this poem is called Reaganan Rahkiswata and the word Reaganit is not a common word I would say I have n never heard anybody use it it's just in this poem but apart from that word I think there are quite uh, most of these words are quite okay. 
lahku, lagu, it is maybe not the most common word either, but otherwise it's quite uh, common words and it's a nice poem. So, so do we have anybody who want to try to to read it and get some comments on on the land? I want to read it if that's fine. Yeah, you can read it. But I can't say I understand all of it yet. So it's mostly to practice pronunciation. Okay, okay, read it, read it. Nogo ruanke swaki oru tuattaraptas nulia pieka botnian munai elima nogo swagi matta pievla vuosta chuovka no ohtsalan vaadide laaguidea Oruhaikaide. Tahlemu Ellin, Manmun Rahkistan. Good, good. It's good. Uh, so if we. Are you also ready to try to translate? Uh, yeah, some, sure, I can, some of it? I can try to do that. No, no, ko ranke sohki. Mm, as crooked as a birch, maybe. Yeah, or as a crooked birch. Uh, ranke oh, yeah. sohki is. Uh, yeah. As so those a, are one phrase. Yeah, ranke sohki. Is like it could have been okay. maybe written as one word, Ranke Yeah, but then it makes sense. Okay, as uh, a crooked birch, um, which would be uh, which is in the corner of the tundra. Yeah, good. Um, Hmm. So is the crooked wind. Yes. Uh, here we have a botnyan that is actually coming from the verb botnyat. We are no, so that is um, uh, me, singular. Uh, uh, no, it's not, because then it would have been bonyan. If I add here the... Oh, I see. Okay. It this would have been... The perfect uh, tense. Yeah, uh, this is the perfect participle. Yeah, okay. Botnyan. Uh, Botnyan. When you take away the T and you just put it an N yeah. instead of it in these AT verbs. Okay, so, so, so has the wind turned. Exactly. So this becomes a perfect phrase together with la. la yeah, okay. yeah, this is so, one of the perfect uh, participle constructions we talked about earlier. Yeah. Monai uh, Elima. I also no. Yeah. My life also. Exactly. It's mu elimanai yeah. would be maybe more standard to say, but mu na elima is uh, sounds a little bit poetic, I would say. I mean, also okay. my, my life. Mm. Also my life. So uh, can um, the nai particle be placed um, uh, almost anywhere, or are there just those two al alternatives? Um, Could you say uh, naimo elima? Yes, I think so. Naimo elima. Nai. Okay. Nai. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe not. I, no, I'm sorry. May, maybe not before. Nai. Dahle nai. Dahle nai mo elima. No. Maybe the most common way is to say uh, mo elima nai. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I, if. If we want, if we wanted to say also my life, there is another word meaning also like nai, and it's might or my tai, and yeah. you could have said my tai before my tai mu elima, 
Mm. They, they, how, they, how about uh, might? Uh, might, might, muellima, might, might, nule, biega, botnian, might. I would say might, die. and if if you put it afterwards, then muellima, might, uh, mm, then okay. it would be be might okay but if it would be before i would say might i might on wrist and yeah katampera sahta kun might muellima nule piekka botnian might muellima voi livchiko haalidaan might tai yeah might tai yeah might might has also another meaning as a pr pronoun uh, meaning what so so in if yeah. it would have been might only here in this situation it would have been understood in that way so yeah it could have been confusing yeah so and um, this also makes sense uh, compared to norwegian oxo and org Okay. Where uh, you would use oxo uh, in front of um, the phrase. Exactly. It would make sense to say oig at the end of it. Okay. Yeah. It's similar to that. Uh, yeah. That's the way I think about it. Nogo swagi matta as the birches root. Yes. Jevla vosta chuoka. Um, I need to have a look at the uh, glossary lists. Yeah, it's down mm. here. Biola. What's that? Against. Uh, Biola is a word that is a little bit tricky to translate, but mm. in uh, Norwegian, maybe you could say something like Bar Marks Fleck. In, in Swedish, we can yeah, something yeah. like that. When the, the snow has been melting in one part of the uh, landscape, so it's without snow. Here we tried to say in the English version, the ba bald patch in a snowscape. Mm. So it shines against the bald patch in the snowscape. Yeah, exactly. As the the root of the birch uh, shines against the bald patch. Okay. Yeah. So it's a continuation of the last line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, vosta is a postposition. So it yeah. comes after the uh, noun. No Ochtsalan Varid. Something to the mountains. So I long to the mountains. Or thus I long to the mountains. Lagweed. Yeah. yeah to, to the valleys and to the places where we live. Yeah. Oro. Aflemo Elin. That is my life, which I love. Yes. Exactly. Is okay, this took some work, but oh. yeah. Was there a question there? Sorry, I was saying, is it long for rather than long to? So is it trying to say, so I long for the mountains? Because I guess in English, if you're using the word to long, you're longing for something. Is that what he's trying to say? Maybe, probably it is, yeah. Because um, you can say, I long to go somewhere, but if you're longing for someone or for something, you would use, I long for. Okay. okay. I'm Even trying to, to understand yeah. what he's trying to say. Yeah, probably it is like that then. So you don't you don't say I long I long but but you said you, you, you could say I long to go to the mountains. So in Or you, I long for the mountains. Yeah, I understood that. But could you also say I long to go to the mountains? Yeah. 
you and can't. then if you cut away to go to and and could you also say i long to the mountains or is that very odd yeah maybe it's that's odd. quite odd you would okay say. okay mm. long to plus verb and long for yeah. plus subject correct yeah okay okay I long yeah. To die, okay I long to go okay thank you thank you know. yeah so then it's long for in this situation okay so mm. i look for the mountains yeah and the valleys yeah Gito. yeah thank you Yeah. Uh, so, sahti komi sihta ristena mait lohka tantivta mitjita kille ko. Tämän sahtan kähtelit. Yeah. Kiitto. Rankan on rahkis vuhtun. Nuko rankke sohki. Orru duttar ravtas. Nule pekka pohjan. Munai ellima. Nuko soaki matto. Piovla vasta chouka. Nu ohtsalan vaarida. Laakuida ja orohakaida. Tällä mu ellin man mun rahkista. Thank you very much. Uh, and here today we will talk a little about about how to put together two uh, substantives into one new substantive like manna and biga becoming uh, manna biga uh, and then you see here that the the long a or the uh, accent a is repl is a little bit shortened uh, so instead of manna pika it's manna pika uh, and in the same way also kiasi plus manno yes meaning summer and manno meaning month uh, but when we put them together the the e sound is reduced a little bit and it's guess manno june we are in guess manno ein otnele Kesemano call of Malog call of Malogat thirtieth of June today. Uh, and also if there is an U sound in the end as in Suonyu, meaning uh, this hard uh, thing on the snow when the sun melts. What is it called? When the when the sun melts the snow in the springtime and then it becomes an icy layer. We we say skaga. Yeah, in in Norwegian, but in yeah, we say skare in Swedish and Norwegian maybe. But what is it in English, if anybody? Uh, Crust, snow, snow crust, Cr crust. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, crust. Tsuonyu. Uh, instead of tsuonyu manu, we say tsuonyu manu, meaning a uh, for for April. So this u becomes o tsuonyu manu. And uh, but when when we have an a a or an E or an O in the end of the word, 
then there is no change. So chak cha plus mano, meaning chak cha me chak cha is uh, September. Uh, chak cha mano and baiste is actually on its own also a, a frying pan but still in many places we add this panno also meaning pan or so and then it's baiste, pan, baiste panno and for example kilo meaning kilo kilo and Haddi meaning price is kilo kilo haddi kilo price. Uh, these examples here have their first part in the nominative form, as most compound substantives do. But there are also some words that use genitive in the first part, and sometimes e, e, sometimes even a plural genitive. For example, the word manaid gardi, uh, a garden for kinder or for children, manaid for a garden for children. Managardi could, could maybe be said, but it has been standardized to say Managardi in plural. And there are some such words, but there are also some words where the, the first word is in, in genitive and the second, so, and the second, yeah, uh, and and as but but as it's said here, most substantives take the first word in the nominative, so you can you can try that first. But then you will learn some words where it's a, a genitive form also. Here are the months. Do we have anybody who want to try to read these words for us? Shout out anybody who hasn't read, maybe, maybe anybody who, somebody who, who didn't read any time at all. Do we have still somebody who want to try? I could try. Yes, please. So, my name is Mauno. Hello. Puede päivi Mauno. Puede päivi. It malatti. Mo manna. Oh, puudesta manna. Okay. Kosto on lähtö Mauno. Mulla on Helsingis Suomas. Okay. Makka dalkille diakpe otna. Makka riilepmi. Uh, arva. Otta. Arvaako. Yes. Mm. Ja ka kalmas. Läko kalmas vai läko liekkas? Mun in tiede. <laughs> mun lean lämas, ähm, mun in läht lämas ol, ol, mm. olkun. Olkun, otne. Okei, <laughs> okei. Okay, okay. <laughs> eh, so, saahtako lohkata itse? Maanoit, mikkiit. Uh, ottajakin mannu. Uh, Kuova mannu. Yeah. Nyukcha mannu. Uh, Tuonja mannu. Mm. Mies mannu. Yeah. mannu. Soitnemannu. Porokemannu. Yeah. Chakchamannu. 
kolkkoht mannu, skaatma mannu, joula mannu. Yeah, good. Uh, so, uh, do you understand also some of Tonip Medavara Muhtin Ositas, Oda Yagi Mannu? New Year month. Yeah. And Kova uh, Mannu is difficult, I would I don't, say. I don't know. No, they, they are always discussing what Kova Mannu means. And they, they have some theories, but I don't remember the theories. Anybody else remember them? No, it's, it's uh, I don't remember what it's come. Yeah, it's, it's a loan word, I think, from Norwegian, me, go, uh, but I don't remember what it was. Sorry for that. What about Nyukchamannu? Okay, now I see the translation is there, so it's easy to... <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, true, true. true. Yeah. <laughs> the month of the swan, and then we have Tsuonyu, meaning crust month, yeah. And Miesi is the, the reindeer call. And Giesi meaning summer, Suoidni meaning hay, when you get this grass or... Hey, for Sweeney, uh, it can be it can be for smell or nice nice smell, or it it can be for for the animals, maybe, or or for the for the shoes. Kristen, do you have any suggestion? What what hey Sweeney? What what usage people had for Soine did they use? Do you know if they use it for animals? Tiedako. Un pai vunda lei suetti. Suetti. Gamas gamas Soine. Okay okay yeah 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 for isolation of the of the foot feet uh, put it in the in the shoes to. So, so do you do you think you get it in July normally mm -hmm. this this what did you call it kama soini yo kama soini yeah tala tala july dantis te ko tala ella no tala vos linis okay 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 manil ta ta sa ta hoy kolmas kal ta ka garra soini yeah linis lina yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, when it's soft, when the the grass is still uh, soft and not so hard, you 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 get it, and then you also uh, have some. Uh, you also th throw it against something, so it becomes even softer and nicer for your feet. But so so you get it in in July. Uh, oh. And therefore, the month is Sweidnamanno. Mm -hmm. And Borekemanno, borek, borek is this Borakat? No. Do you know what, what kind of Boreke is this easy to understand? Uh -huh. Change, uh, fur. Can you say change fur yeah. when, when the animals let loose of their earlier yeah. ski, uh, hairs? Molting. Molting. Mm. Molting with an O. Molting. Yeah, I I write a question mark there. I'm not sure how to write it, but. Uh, this is borka. Okay, so you say borka da, or what do you call borka da? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Borka da. When it's going on. Borka da. What's borka da? Yeah. Peana. What's or peana borka da? When they change uh, fur, cha mm -hmm. when they molt. No. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, thank you. And then Chakcha Manu is easy. Chakcha meaning autumn. And what about Kolkot? Kolko Manu. This is also something with the animals, isn't it? Dale might you aga after that. Dale dako bruns da we mota le da kol. Nula, yo kolkot dale ravis varis poadzu. Le kolkot. Aha, it's the name of the uh, the reindeer, the male reindeer. Uh, what did you say? Ra Ra Ravis. Ravis, a big. Mm, Ravis poats. Uh, Dala Ravis uh, poats. Eston that Bergili uh, Hondir. Yeah. Mm. Do you say do you, do you use male for rain for animals or how do you say it? Danish. Yes. <laughs> yes, male. Uh, uh, and does it also have something to do with that this is the month where they are more active sexually or something like that? Is it like a, a brunst period or? Yeah, no, la. Kolkoman no la la brunst targil, yeah. Yeah, they have, yeah. So, they have a, so they have a need to go and meet females. Yeah that uh, situation okay so that's called mm -hmm. uh, and then skap mamano skap ma is this time uh, in kautokeino skap ma aiki is approximately six seven weeks i think uh, when it's uh, when the, we don't see the sun uh, in in the winter time and it starts in uh, the end of November and goes into the middle of uh, January. That's why we saw Miss Efton Polar Night chapters. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe month of the polar night. Was it like that? Yeah, and Yovla Mano, Yovla is the old word here in the Nordic languages for Jul, uh, meaning Christmas, or, and it has, Jul has been something before Christmas, I also think, but Jul, yeah, it's used for Christmas. Uh, and and I've also seen in like uh, Lule Sami areas, they have some other names. And I, I think I've seen one list with 13 months. So this uh, with 12 months is of course a, a quite new standardization of uh, what has early be, earlier been used for different uh, months and periods of time in sami we also talk a lot about this uh, what what these different days erkepeivit and uh, what are they called the peatnapeivit or there are different such merke uh, dagar we say in mark days could you say like that in english different kind of periods holidays, holidays yeah but it's not a holiday because it's a normal day yeah, mean, red mean, letter day. What you say? Red letter day. Because red. it's in a red letter on the calendar. No, it. I don't think it does. It needs to be. It can be any day. I think. Yeah, maybe. Is it most Sundays? Do you know Riston? Riston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's not Christian days, so it's it's days for for the nature, huh? Mm, yeah. Uh, that that yeah. if if it's that weather on the seventeenth of March, then mm. the spring will become this and that, and mm. it's this kind of. So it's not it's Mark days, and it, there are many such. And if you like, you can buy this Sami Yahki, Is it called like this? This book. I can just uh, 
it's called Yahki Yahki Samis Kusto. This is one book where you can look at every every day. Today it's thirtieth uh, uh, of of June. Choikale yo alle valjit. The 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 mosquitoes has come, and it says how it says something about the nature. And here are also all these these days that are marked that has different meanings and. You can you can read if you're interested. Barad Nepe with 24th of July, the boy day. I don't know so much about this, but there are different kinds. Lao Repe. It has also been in Puerto's old sort. And who has the name day? Do you do you use the word name day? Like every name is on one day in the calendar, and it, it has these kinds of things really relation to. This was the name of it. It's Marit Mikkels Datter Eira Murud who wrote it. If you are interested. Uh, and here are the words for the seasons. Year is in North Sami Yahki, and the words you can use to talk about the four seasons that we have in English is. Talvi, winter, Kidda, spring, Kiasi, summer, and Chakcha, autumn. But then sometimes we talk about Sapmi or the Sami people as uh, the, the people of eight seasons. And then we also include this in between seasons that are called Kidda, Dalvi, spring, winter. Kildakiasi, spring summer, Chakchakiasi, autumn summer, and Chakchadalvi, autumn winter. And these terms are important because they were times when you were moving, I think, with the reindeer. Isn't that so? To the to the summer bushes. Kristen, do you have any yurta gatan perra ate ate manna mis läka läko nu ate ate kidda kiassi dalle loihta boht soit te hatte dalle manna dohko kiasse orro hahki ja te lo kiassi stoppe ete chak chak kias kiassi manna fas roftulotta sahtako dat I'm, I'm not really sure, but I, I've, I've understood it that it has to do with the moving patterns of people yeah. go, going to the to the summer land, and therefore we use this eight. Jag parkot lätta en aktivitet lätta någon dita i akolagaya. Yes, different mm. different works are in different periods, so, so therefore we. We talk about uh, eight seasons, but uh, of course it's it's difficult. I, I remember I, I was in Iran for a while, and there people who had been in Sweden, they thought that Sweden does not have four seasons. You only have like two seasons, one with snow and one without snow. But they have four seasons because they have spring that is green, and then summer that is like yellow and everything dies and then autumn with rain rainy days or something like that and then winter with snow so they have like more differences so it's i don't know how to compare such things but but we at least we say sometimes that that sami is it's land of eight seasons Uh, and then we come into the week. Bahku. Mannodat or was arka. The first day, arka meaning day. And this that is Tuesday. 
And this dot is actually connected to day in English or to dog in Swedish. Mano daga. It, it, it becomes, it blooms out and becomes mano daga. It's a hidden G. So it's, it's mano dot, man day, dis dot, Tuesday. This one is a little bit different. It's middle of the week. Kaska vahku. But then Doras dot Thursday, Peria dot is not per is not fry per but it's similar to Finnish periontai. I don't know if periontai has has a meaning. Anybody from no know, knowing Finnish who understand the background of this word per? Why it's periodat? No idea. <laughs> no, no, no idea. No. I'm looking it up right. Okay. In and in Finnish, uh, Friday would be uh, periantai. Yeah. But what 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 does it mean? This periantai. Periantai. Not sure. Is it with P or no? I think it has come from the Frey from the goddess. I always was told in school. And we learned uh, Freya, so it means the Freya's Freya's day, and it's just translated into into Finnish Periantai, the so, goddess Freya in the Viking story. Okay, so. so you think she was called Freya was called Beria? Yeah, in Finnish, like in Finnish translated. Okay, okay. Because it's Finns very often replace an F in the beginning with a P. They can't start a word with F, and F R becomes P. Oh, okay, 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 okay. In English and in Romania. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it can be a connection then to Friday, but it's a little bit further out. Okay, good. Thank you. Love or dot is the same as lore dog. It's connected to the, the word we use in Sweden, at least for Saturday. And Sotna Behvi is Sunday connected. Behvi meaning day in the translated. Yeah. And when you when answering the question when something is happening, when something is happening, use the genitive form for expressions like on Monday we meet or on Tuesday we meet, we use the genitive form, manodaga or vuosarka, tiistaga, kaskavahku, tuorastaga, perjadaga, lavodaga, sotnapäivi. Um, here are some examples. My tomparka manodaga. What are you doing on Monday? Mi manat kaupugitiistaga. We go to the city on Tuesday. Uh, but then there are some some words that we when we when we want to say answer that something is happening in these words i mean when that does this happen on these dates or on these then we use we don't use the genity we use the locative for example ma in connection to ma manno and vahku we rather say Sara Pohta Deiki Odayagi Manus. She comes in January. We 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 maybe we could say Sara Pohta Deiki Odayagi Manu, but it's it's not it's not so common. And I, so it's normally and also Ante Muhtali Mannan Vahkus. He told us last week, and this is also Vahku is also such a word that we use in the locative rather than in the genitive. But still most of the words we use in in the genitive when talking about when something happens. And then we have some special adverbs for the seasons, talvet, 
meaning in the win in the winter tal vet monchuikan in the winter i go skiing give that in the spring guess it in the summer guess it let allu chuikat in the summer there are lots of mosquitoes chuck chat in fall chuck chat laven mur yet in fall i usually go picking berries Mol and what does it say here when you want to specifically point out what you did that you did something this winter but not other winters uh, you can use the genitive that we were talking about in connection to the days talvi kida kiasi chaucha mon lan lohkan ollu kirjid tan talvi you don't need to use this talvet mon lan lohkan ollu kirjid because if you say talvet mon lan lohkan ollu kirjid yeah it it would be this similar meaning i think but but here it's another possibility dan dalvi to to focus more on that is this this winter thank you as i comparkat this summer i will work thank you the moon in manalulas this spring i'm not going so uh i don't know if we should take a small break before going into these contract substantives or do you have any questions about these uh, times and so on before we take a 10 minute break just wondering if you're going to send the attendance check yes i'm going to do that but i haven't written it yet so i need to to do it on the 10 minutes uh, uh, break so you get it okay. after the break yes thanks villa yeah lakolon yutson arka monje paraka was arka arka baby yeah arka yeah uh my my to you manje barka da se da yo man you chingola ai ki per sa ka de la araka baby yo i araka i mean what's the baby bit let no go all the market to you obla ya de la arka you obla ki odda e ke kaska bardak araka araka hmm araka la Bad dog, yeah. Bad dog. Hmm. No go. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good words. It's good words. Pass the babies. How do we say this? In Ristan suggested two other words that we should have added here that are useful. Pass the baby. It is holidays. Holidays. For instance, Christmas and days like that. Yeah, and then Arka baby. It is the from Monday to Friday, for example, is weekday. Sorry, weekday, weekday. Yeah, as opposed to weekends, yeah. Hard work days. <laughs> yeah. It, so, so then the question is: Saturday is it an arka or is it an a busse baby? Dalle vahkulo apa deuski or? Yeah. It's also we also have a work for word for weekend. Modern modern word. Arka and Basapevi is the old. So how do you say this Arka, this G sound? Can I can I hear you? Arka. 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 Yeah. Arka. Ar araka. Monin guaro o ne mon guaron arakan. Arakan. Yeah. There we also have. There we also have a situation when she says, 
we use an essive form to say mm. arkan monkuaron or what did you say mm. on on a on a weekday i saw su, mm. su, su, su. when you do some clothes or something so mm. uh, Arkan, yeah, this is also a possibility to use uh, an a a a a a sieve, an a sieve form of uh, of the time expression or of the substantive to to say that uh, to answer to the question when I'm doing something. Um, Maybe it's connected to this word, because it, you you wouldn't you wouldn't say these as a man of Dakan, You 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 wouldn't say that in Essiv, I think. <laughs> no, it's something with the the word Araka that gives it makes it natural makes it natural to to use it in the Essiv form when you want to talk about something you do on on these what about vahkuluappa no you would use genitive for that for example vahkuluappas or locative vahkuluappas monoidnen so would that be okay yeah. i saw him on in the weekend so then in the weekend it's similar it's, it's a locative form in the weekend also in English, you you use the, but here you use on Tuesday, and then it's uh, uh, yeah. So these are a little bit tricky things, but but uh, you have to repeat what you hear, or or see written, and then uh, try to uh, uh, re repeat it and and use it so if there are more questions we can take it now otherwise we can take a 10 minute break or, or do you have any more suggestions words that you want to know in connection to time or so 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 we take 10 minutes this this week it's not maybe an ice cream maybe it's an ice cream break in some places but not in kautokeino okay, here it's coffee time or something cafe logi minuta boddu 10 minutes break okay. Some dog. Rather seagulls. Hmm? Oh, oh, that that's Wemby. All right, it's nice. Marking. Yes, the name of the book uh, you asked here, it's uh, called Yohki Samis Luandu Olobmo Bireken. The subtitle there, the undertitle is uh, The Nature uh, Man or Nature Persons. Uh, um way to survive or something like that so it's a connection to uh, that you need the, the the nature around you nature is also a term that has been discussed but uh, because it hasn't been used in sapmi for so long but uh, 
I mean, or not, Luando is an old word, but it has had a slightly different meaning also. But what what is nature and what is like city life or so? Of course, it's different in different places, what is considered nature. But. Uh, there were some things here. Wasarka should have been written with double S. Thank you very much for the comment. It was written wrong in the wrongly in the uh, manuscript. And here are other good comments mm -hmm. in the um, chat. I didn't see it or see them earlier. So so thank you a lot for this. Please. Comments and then you wanted to see the you wanted to see the the last week's um, uh, the the right correct answers for the so how do I find those quickly. I posted there the did you see the 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 new link to the to the attendance check uh, but now I'm going to try to find last week's attendance check It is the clock is eleven fifteen. That was the question. Uh, yeah, here is a comment to that Londo. The Londo expression is discussed in Louisa Mienna Sherberry's uh, doctor thesis. Uh, wasn't it something with a dog okay maybe i'm i was wrong then i thought that uh, but i can answer this one first uh, or we can answer can we start with look at uh, this the, the the clock time is eleven fifteen. how do we say that anybody any suggestions in the chat who is quickest um oh okay kvartabajil kvartabajil is correct tibmole kvartabajil oktana blokai thank you perfect tibmole kvartabajil oktana blokai you could have two accents there kvartabajil ok also an accent on the last A and also in A, A in Quarta, the first A there. Uh, and then the, the one, um, once we had this, maybe it's last week or the week before, maybe about this dog. Have you seen? the dog this night uh, do we have any suggestion for that have you seen it was attendance check number seven have you seen the dog it was only have you seen the dog Have you seen the dog? It's a, what kind of uh, tempus is that? Tempus, tempus is. I thought it was, have you heard the dog? Yeah, it was, it was, I corrected afterwards. Oh, can you change in the question also? Ah, no, no, but, but it's, it's, 
I'm go I'm using no, I see here. Have you seen the dog? It says in the in the I just follow the I think it's have you seen the dog? But we can take both of them. Lahko oidnan petnaga is a good uh, is a perfect suggestion. Lahko oidnan petnaga uh, or have you heard the dog if we want to do that? And oidnit has an I and therefore it gets an accent on the A oidnit oidnan when you say the perfect participle there. But if you use the word kullat instead, have you heard the dog? Uh, then it's, or do, have you, if, if we want to say it in plural, how would that be? Have you, if you are like three people, have you heard the dog? How would we say that? Um. Oh, Any suggestions? Oh, God. Um. Let go, don't go, land. Yeah, that's the singular form. That's good, correct. And what about the plural form? Have you heard the dog? This is very... This is somebody who, who has Sami language as a oral language because many people say exactly like that but in the in the written language we normally use uh, that's the way we we write it uh, but but is is like uh, uh, people say in 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 some villages and uh, and places lehkiko lehkiko kullan but lehpet lehpetko kullan is the petnaga and then and if we want to say this night have have you heard the dog this night uh, how, how would we say this night Do we have any suggestions? Taniya, good. Taniya. No, ija is is such a standard word that we use genitive for for answering when it happens. So it's not among those uh, ten to twenty words that take this locative form like vahkus or uh, manus or there are are some other uh, such examples and they are written in or for, for example this Nickel book uh, Klaus Peter Nickel and Pekka Samalahti Samisk Grammatik in Norwegian it's written Samisk Grammatik it's a good grammar book Samalahti and Nickel for, for those of you who want to study more and know some uh, Norwegian. Ias, Ias. Could you say it in locative to Ias, Dan Ias? No, I don't think so. I would say that you can. Uh, and and then I also put the. Um, the link there, did you get it, all, all of you? For this week's I post it again there was the link and then I share screen again and we continue with the last part of today North Sami for 
beginners, here it is. And it's contract nouns. And what is difficult with these is that they don't jump only one grade. We have been looking at uh, other substantives. Uh, the, if we say the normal case or, or the most common case, I think, uh, frequentatively, if you, is this that we have manna, the strong grade in the, in the nominative, but then in plural or in other cases, you get uh, a weaker grade. Those are called the even syllable even syllable substantives and then we looked at some words like beanahu that moves in the other direction uh, and gets uh, but also there are some examples of such words like kahbir that doesn't change that is stays in the same kahbirat Uh, though these are called um, odd syllable substantives. And today we're going to look at the third form of these. I have uh, some difficulty seeing the chat in the same time. I see it blink sometimes that there is something on the chat, but it doesn't really work here. So uh, if you want to say something, maybe you can just open the mic because I, yeah. But what I want to say is that today we work, we talk about something called contract substantives and that's the third, uh, four, third, third group of substantives and they are, strange in that way that they move from first grade to third grade uh, uh, manna has for example the third grade would be n n n or it's only written in n n but and the second grade is n n and the first grade is n uh, and then beana, beatnaga, this n, it, the, the n is the third grade. And then tn is the second grade. And n is the first grade, I think. And, but, but, and, and here we have an example of a word that has And grade number three is HCC and grade number two is HC and grade number one is C. And it starts here with a boat, so reindeer, and it becomes bohtsot in, in plural and bohtso is reindeer in accusative or genitive. And as in the odd syllable substantives, they they use the same form for all the forms except nominative singular and sc. We had beana and beanan, but the other ones were beatnagat and beatnaga and so on in similar form as this one. Palkis is also a path in the woods or in the somewhere where people walk or, or animals walk go balkis and bal balakat do we have um do we have a slide here lacoristanine einda electronos 
Saatako tuon lohkat taan saani? Or, or if, we, if, we, if we start with he, here, could you read Boatsu and Pohtsot? Yeah. Boatsu, Pohtsot. Yeah. And read two more. Pohtso, Pohtsoit. Thank you very much. And, and then if you go back to this one, SC. Boatsun. Yeah. And what about this one? Palkis Palakat. Palakat. You have a slide there between the L and the G, would you say? Yeah. Mm. So that's the, the most clear difference. As here you say Palkis, something like that. Palkis. Yeah. Palkis. And here. Palakat. Palakat. There is a small vowel between the L and the G, Palakat. Uh, and here, person. Olmos. Olopmot. Olopmot. Here is also a, vowel. Uh, such a a slide, all of mot. All of mot. And if you read two more. All of mot. All of moit. All of moi. All of moit there. Olo mos, olo moin, olo moin, olo moikoin, olmochin. Thank you very much. And uh, these are normally in the dictionary given in two, two forms because you cannot know otherwise how it jumps. And you also see here that this, this diphthong in Boatso is also monophthonga goist. It's becoming a monophthong. Boatso. Boatso. Coming Bochzo. Yeah, so this is the third kind. And now we're ready already, and we have half an hour more. What can we do? Should we put you into rooms and, uh, and uh, so that you can try to compose some, some sentences saying when something happened? Uh, or you don't know how to say happened, but uh, when something happens, uh, like uh, we meet or we, I go to Finland on Monday and such phrases, would that be an okay training exercise for you? Uh, and then we can talk about it in the, the in this bigger room. Uh, and maybe you have then some questions. If you could work with these phrases and um, and try to compose some some sentences and um, and say them in this room. We are not so many today, so maybe we could... Uh, I stop sharing. How many are we? 42. Maybe we can go through it in, in this main room. If we start that you work in two and two, I put you there. And if I see somebody didn't join, then I will try to make you so you are two and two. Uh, 
and then we meet each other in five or six minutes and talk about some some of these um, your sentences and how to say them uh, so i start these breakout rooms uh, 37 uh, that means oh we lose some people now uh, uh, 18 rooms create rooms open all rooms yes yes it's um, I, there was this question about can you hear me now again it was this question about the uh, kovaman no february and somebody asked uh, what could, could it be um from quotash but it's not it's a it's a borrowed word from um, earlier norwegian the last week manjemus manus in the last month manjemus uh, yeah this sorry i i'm jumping from the one thing to another uh, this kova mano is uh, from goi mano or something it's uh, it's been a month in the vikings calendar uh, earlier and it's something with the eyes or something like that um but it's a word that has not been it's not a sami word it's a loan word govamano goi manader goi manader this is the 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 w word for for this month that the vikings used in their own old time uh, uh, time thing time calendar approximately in february in the middle of february to the middle of april i see here on on facebook in our artigis saga group for you who are interested to read more uh, artigis saga is this group on facebook discussing uh, sami uh, etymology and such things uh, yeah so and now what did you have any is there a northern sami etymological dictionary and a dialect dictionary yeah i think i think there are such some uh, well dialect i i'm not sure but uh, uh, oh you you also have it in icelandic maybe today also do you say guamanodur Goa, goa or something like that today even or koik mean dry according to my dictionary okay yeah i didn't understand what it come from but it goes together with the modern calendar okay so it's still in use so it's connected to that uh, uh, goa month I try to comment here on this week. How do you say this week? Tamvahku. Tamvahkus. Tamvahku. Tamvahkus. Tamvahkus. Aina letnet kuasnu tamvahkus. Tamvahkus this week. How many sessions left this is not the last one we have two more after this two more tuesdays 
it goes uh, and then it goes some other question here up to have a vacation mostla fridja mostla fridja wahde manus i have vacation vacation next month Yeah, Luopmo. Okay, thank you. Here's somebody who's putting better. Luopmo is also vacation. Luopmo is the substantive. Frid Fridja is more like a adjective. Yeah. But it's like used mostly. Yeah, maybe it's an adjective. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luopmo. Luopmo is uh, is free and yeah. Where, where does that? Astoaiki. Yeah, astoaiki is uh, spare time, or so. Uh, asto aigis, asto aigis. There we have a, a, one of those 20 words that want to take locative. Uh, asto aigis mon laven chuikat. In the spare time, I normally go skiing. And did were, were there any more questions here that I didn't get? Lohkambadji is more used for Lohkambadji um, is more used for semester in school, like Lohkan meaning read, Badji is um, like semester, I mean, in the English way of saying semester, not the Swedish. Lokambadji uh, is a term, a term, huh? A ter term. This uh, spring term, we that that give that Lokambadji. Spring, spring semester, spring semester. Was it uh, difficult to create phrases, or did you get any good suggestions? Can you write any, or can you say? Anybody want to try to say some, some phrases here in the microphone, and we see if we understand. Who want to start? I can try. Yes, please. And I'm very curious to know if uh, anyone will understand. Yeah. So, Maid si barget arga. Maid si barget argan. Did you say argan, Nia? Yeah? What, what? Yeah, I would understand that, but what did they do on the on the every day? What was the word for arka in English? Weekdays. 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 What? I I wanted to say, what do they do in the weekdays? Should it be different then? No, no. What what do they do in the weekdays? Might see baraket arka. Yeah. It's correct. It's correct. Perfect. Do you have any other? Did you write any more sentences that you want to try? Okay, I can try one more. Yeah. My don bargo vacola. Uh, sorry, my don barco vacolo pas. Yeah, here you used uh, 
you didn't use the verb barakat, but you used the, the substantive baraku. Uh, and that was a little bit uh, wrong, even though I understand it, but it would have been better. I think you mean maitom parakat vahkoluokast. What are you doing in the weekend? Yes, it, yes, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, barako is uh, with the U is the substantive meaning work. Um, uh, so, makar, uh, you, you could have may put it in another way. Markar barako tusla dan vahkoluapa. Uh, what what work do you have this this weekend? But but that's if you want to use the the verb parakat, then it's my tom parakat vahkuluapas. Thank you, Kito. Anybody else? Era, yar arvalusat. Somebody who want to read a, a compo home composed sentence. Mila? Yeah. Yeah, you can hear me because I'm on the mobile. Uh, yeah. I have some some answers to that question, or I can try some. Sure. Like uh, which time of year it is. So. What I do in the weekend? Dalvet um, mon chwaigan. Is that right? I'm going out skiing in winter. Yes, it's correct. Yeah, I have some other uh, times of year also. Shall I take one yeah. or two more? Yeah. Thank you. Chak chat mi oit nit botsut botsuit. You're looking at reindeer. Yeah. Uh, I have. I can take you to others. Um, Gasset, my man, Gasset Theater, Summer Theater, <laughs> composed the word there. And Gida Mun Boyan Scooterin. Good, so, very good, very good. Can you say the, the third one again? Gasset, my man, Gasset Theater. Yeah. We, we yes, try to the... go to the Summer Theater in Me... Sami. Me like, man not guess uh, theater. Yeah, well, my, my man, if you have ah, two people. Ah. Me man not or my man, huh? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's the one try. Thank you very much. Oh, look at it. Anybody else? You want to try? Mm. I tried to come up with this. Mon len chayahan olu chayahan olu nuhta dan chau chau. Mon len chayahan olu nuhta dan chau chau. This is not. Uh, very clear to me. Do you mean yeah, that you have played lots of music, melodies? Is it about that? Nota? Try to say, yeah, 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 exactly. Chua uh, Yahan, you, 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 you mean Chua Mon Lan Chua Yahan. I have played. Chua means to show. Uh, I have Mon Lan Chua Yahan, Olo Nuah. Died. I would I would say it in plural. Dan um, cha. I have played many melodies this autumn. Chuya here. is to cling or or sound, and chuya hit is to to play music to to make sounds. Um, so that's good. Doing, is there other words for doing? Barakat or dahkat? Dahkat is also to do. Barakat also to do. 
Uh, I try to say I love to travel in winter. Dalvet mun rahkistan johtit. Yeah, rahkistit is very, very strong word. Rahkistan uh, johtit. Yeah, but it is. I love to travel in the winter. Dalvet mun rahkistan johtit. Yeah, I guess that's okay. What do you say, Ristan? Is Rakistit too too hot, too strong for use? I think it would be too strong for in, in that kind of. Uh... Yeah, yeah. In English, you can say love in in so many ways, in some so many in connection to so many things. But in Sami, maybe the word Rakistit is uh, a little bit more narrow. So it's about love. <laughs> It's the same in Norwegian. We don't use hate and love as much as in English. Okay, okay, yeah. Maybe it, maybe it's just because we maybe it's just because we Americans tend to exaggerate things a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like that, yeah. But you can say like likut, huh? Or, yeah, exactly. I like yeah. to. Talvet mun liikon johtit. I like to. Talvet mun mun liikon johtit is is much more normal to say at least yeah talvet ainus jola yeah talvet ainas jodan i that means ainas i ainas is is not a verb but it's ainas jarna in 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 swedish i mean ja ja jarna how do you say that in English? I would love to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then travel. it's a verb. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not a verb in in Sami. That's way it's uh, w with the uh, with the. Uh, I'd rather uh, yeah. travel. Yeah. Or. With pleasure, I travel for now. I don't know. Uh, hommastallat. Here is a word question. Hommastallat. Ah, for doing things. Yeah, hommet is, of course, also a verb for to do. Uh, when to hommet, this is a... a the verb that can be used and it has also some other undertones in it hommet i would say it's also a little bit sexual in the undertone there hommet but it's maybe just in some people's uh, uh, but it's like to to fuck mm -hmm. also to hommet you have to be careful there yeah exactly <laughs> uh, because we have this uh, art uh, in sapmi we talk about an art of talking dirty or or so it's called snoallan snoallat it's the verb uh, uh, it's to talk with a sexual undertone uh, without really meaning it or with meaning it yeah you can mean it too and and hommet is one of yeah, maybe it's not a small long word, but it's it has at least home that it can be used for. But it can also mean just what did you do? What are you doing? So so that's and and the 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 the, the, the question was homma stallat. I don't know that that version of that word homma stallat. Risten, have you heard homma stallat? Not hommast a lot, but hommet is uh, an ordinary word. Yeah, hommet, hommast a lot. These stallat and, and such things, they, they are things you can put to verb sometimes. And, and like, they, they make it uh, more, oh, sorry, now time is so much, I see. So... Um, but stallat can can make it more frequent to if you have a verb like um, um, do we have any example of a verb with stallat 
I, I, I cannot find anyone now in my head, but I think. Imashtalat, yeah. Imashtalat, that's to to wonder, to wonder why something imashtalat. So I guess then, like homashtalat would be more like to work on something like a big. Yeah, maybe. If you're working on like some home project or something that takes a longer time. Maybe, yeah. Kolastala, kolastit to kolastala. We to to get fish, to catch fish. See, Tastala is a suggestion here. To 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 see Tastala to to be connected to other members of the of the same traveling group. Uh, I mean, with the reindeers in the sea, in this way, to you live together. Saga uh, stallan. It's also to talk, uh, so it's back and forth in some way. Uh, but homa stallat. Uh, the, these are not free to use in every. You can use them in many times, but you cannot. Yeah, you can also create your own words, of course, and people will understand you. But it's not like standard. They don't suit as good to some words as they do to other words to other verbs so so home that is maybe a little bit um, i don't uh, know it uh, but it could be used in some way maybe i don't think it's in the dictionary so that's well, actually i actually found it in the dictionary so that's why i asked you did what kind of dictionary it cannot be this one could it maybe 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 <laughs> it is but i mean some of those online dictionaries also take up words that somebody used just one time in a blog or something. Yeah, here it is. Home master, you're absolutely right. Beschäftigt sein. Okay. Yeah, there you see. Good. <laughs> I never heard it. It maybe it's used more like in the Finnish side or somewhere. Yeah. So it's it can be. Yeah. Yo, gito otnash botoy lekshuna nokadal. And Oinalit Wahtevokus. See you next week. Thank you. What was I going to? I was going.